2 Kings chapter 6 is all about the prophet Elisha, and things are really happening in his ministry. Things are really happening in Israel, and the beginning of the chapter is kind of interesting. It says, and the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, these are prophets that Elisha are, is training and raising up, and they, they come to him, and this is what they say. It says, the place where we dwell with you is too small for us. So he's adding more prophets, he's training more men, and they're outgrowing their house or their facility, whatever it is. And it said, let us go to Jordan and let every man take a beam from there and let us make there a place where we may dwell. So he answered, Elisha answers, he says, okay, let's do it, go. So he didn't initiate it, but he certainly gave approval for it. And then one of them said, please consent to go with your servants. And he answered, okay, I'll go. And so he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down trees. But here's the crazy thing that happens. As one was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head, the head of the axe, fell into the water, and he cried out and said, Alas, for it was borrowed. He, he's lost this axe head, and back then iron would have been very expensive, and so he's, he's this budding prophet, I guess, is all upset. And so Elisha says, where did it fall? And he showed him the place. So he cut off a stick and threw it in there. And the iron axe head began to float. Therefore, he said to the new prophet, pick it up for yourself. So he reached out his hand and he took it. So this is kind of a crazy story. They go to build a new facility. They need a bigger place to, and God's blessing Elisha. And this axe head comes off of this axe and it sinks to the bottom and Elisha throws a stick in and it floats. So miraculous, don't understand it. Nowhere in scripture is there kind of like a, say, well, what's the stick got to do with the ax head? There's not a common denominator that I can find. But it seems like this, that God performed a miracle through Elisha to help this young prophet. But then when the ax head floats, instead of it just you know floating over to the man's hand, Elisha tells him to pick it up. And there might be a principle there, and it would be this, that God will always do his part, but we also get to do our part. God does amazing things in our lives, but he wants us to participate in the miracles. Like we can't save anybody, but God uses us to share the gospel with them. And God will do his part if we do our part. And on and on you could go in scripture with that principle and with that pattern. Well, the rest of the chapter is about Elisha warning the king of Israel that the Syrians are coming and the Syrians find out that Elisha is getting this revelation from God. They're angry at him. They want to kill him. And Elisha somehow creates the two to meet together. And the Israelites feed these Syrians a, a meal. And from that time forward, they don't hassle the Israelites anymore. So Elisha, 2 Kings chapter 6 in the middle of raising up prophets and in the middle of bringing peace to Israel. God is using Elisha, and that's kind of the, the, the theme of 2 Kings chapter 6. God is using Elisha in a powerful way, and I believe he wants to use you and I. God does his part. Let's always remember to do our part.